Hey, we see everybody joining in now here, which is great. Um, just continue to give it a minute or two before we get started here. Thank you all so much for joining. Rashi is going to take it off shortly here, and we'll just wait for the rest of you to get on. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Rashi Romanoff and I oversee programs and partnerships at the Elizabeth Dole Foundation. Um, we're so excited that you're all able to join us for today's episode. Um, today's episode is part of our web series titled Caregiver Community Connection or C3, presented by the Elizabeth Dole Foundation and powered by our partners at Wounded Warrior Project. The goal of this series is to bring caregivers and veterans engaging content on important topics and provide opportunities for peer connection and support. We're also very pleased that the US Department of Veterans Affairs has also joined us as a partner for this exciting series. Today's episode is titled Money 101, Financial Wellness for Military Families, and will feature Kelly Miller and Laura Roberts, members of the Military Financial Wellness Team at Prudential. Prudential has been an amazing partner to EDF over the years, and we're so excited to have Kelly and Laura join us here today. I'm also happy to be joined by my co-host, Liz Rotenberry. Liz is a caregiver herself, and she manages our Dole Caregiver Fellows Program. So a huge welcome to all of our fellows that have joined today's call as well. Um, I'm so excited that Liz is here and she's co-hosting with me. Um, it's been, it's really exciting. Now, before we get started, a few pieces of housekeeping. Um, I wanted to mention to all of our attendees that this is a recorded broadcast. Um, a copy of today's recording uh, will be available and will be shared following today's session. Throughout the broadcast, we'll also be announcing our Amazon gift card giveaways and we'll be launching some interactive polls. So be on the lookout for those on your screen as well. We have a lot of information to cover today, but we will be taking questions towards the end of the session. So what I'd ask is for all of you to please submit any questions using the Q&A box located in your Zoom control panel. Um, one thing to note before we get kicked off is that Kelly and Laura are not financial advisors. If you have a detailed financial question, we'll be talking about ways that you can get assistance from Prudential in a little bit. But for the purposes of today's Q&A, we ask that you keep your questions more at a high level and not case specific. Also, a huge welcome to everyone who's joining us via Facebook Live through the Foundation's Hidden Heroes Caregiver Community page. Um, just a note for you all, you can submit any questions by simply commenting on the video itself. Um, and you can also use the comment section to answer any of our polls and we'll be tracking that as well. Um, I'm really excited we have uh, our Foundation's um, manager for our cities and program cities and counties program jasmine alfonso who will be today's moderator and will be helping us organize our q a towards the end of the session now with that i want to welcome laura and kelly to today's webinar um, and just to get us started um, i thought it would be helpful for both of you just to introduce yourself maybe share a little bit about your background awesome thank you so much rashi I'm Laura Roberts. I'm the military program manager on Prudential's financial wellness team. I'm a military spouse of eight years and my husband is currently stationed at Fort Bragg. So we are embarking on our hot and humid summer, which I'm sure many of you, many of you have experienced. Um, and I did wanna share just a couple impacts of the coronavirus on my military family specifically. I know it's having unique effects on all of us. Um, we did have a PCS move that's either been delayed or it might be canceled. We are still waiting to hear, which is pretty normal, I'm finding. And um, we've also been continuing to pay for our child's spot in child care so that, you know, once it's a safe situation, he'll have a spot for us to send him back to. So that's how it's impacting my family personally. Um, 
and our two-year-old is our only son. He's thankfully napping right now, but I do have two <laughs> dogs who uh, sometimes like to join my conference call. My husband just got home, so you might hear my beagle in the background, but I'm really happy to be here with you. And on the prudential side of things, I have the pleasure of working with Kelly Miller, so I'll let her introduce herself. Hi, everybody. My name is Kelly Miller, and I am the Prudential Military Financial Wellness Account Executive and a proud military and caregiver supporter. I live in Kansas with my husband, my two daughters, and my two dogs, who, as Laura mentioned, you may hear in the background since we now all work from home and school at home and live at home and do everything at home. So, Today, we are very excited that in partnership with the Elizabeth Dole Foundation and the Hidden Heroes community, Prudential has created a free resource for all hidden heroes, caregivers, military and veteran personnel. You don't even have to be a Prudential customer to have access to these tools. They are all no cost, non-solicitous, meaning they're purely educational. As we talk about Money 101 and financial wellness for military families, we will highlight three main tools today with the hopes that you may take just one step towards your financial wellness. So today we're gonna to talk through the digital financial wellness portal, Green Path, which is credit and debt counseling, and the opportunity for individuals to have a personal discussion with a financial professional. I will flip it back to Rashi. <laughs> Terrific. We're excited to dive in and it's, I'm happy to say we all have dogs. So it will, everyone, will, everyone will have to guess if any of the dogs. <laughs> um, so while Jasmine launches our first poll, um, I actually wanted to ask Liz a little bit to level set with us um, and talk a little bit about the financial concerns that caregivers and veterans and military families are facing right now. Um, we know that COVID-19 has been really difficult. Laura mentioned some of the struggles that she's been facing. Um, what kinds of things are we hearing from the community before we dive into the specifics of the Prudential offerings? Yeah, thank you, Rashi. And thank you so much, Kelly and Laura, for joining us today. We really appreciate this. And I know our community does as well. Um, you know, for caregivers and myself, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am a caregiver to my husband um, who was injured in Afghanistan a few years ago. But what, what the, the communication that I hear from most of our fellows and our, and our caregivers in our community are currently with COVID, the struggles around the cost of supplies, the cost of food, uh, you know, whether or not to save or use credit to spend, um, you know, how do you prepare for retirement, especially going through this tough economy time? And what are some of those, you know, investments look like? Um, a lot of people have lost quite a bit that they've had saved, you know, from, from previous to COVID. Um, and so just in general, I think there's a lot of concern. I think overall, some of the biggest questions in life in general are retirement, uh, life insurance policies, you know, how to make sure you're getting the right ones. Um, and how to even afford that. Um, so really also, I think one of the other big aspects is planning for you know, your estate planning, your end of life. Um, in our community, veterans are wounded warriors. You never know what can happen. Um, and we rely on that benefit from the VA or from other areas, but what happens if the worst uh, you know, is, is to, to occur? Um, how do you plan for that? And um, so those are some of the big topics that we have. I know Kelly and Laura, you, you may not be able to address all those things today. Um, I'm sure you have resources that you're gonna share with us that can help give us some answers and some direction into that. Um, but I definitely wanna hear from our caregivers in our community, uh, from our military and veterans, those of you listening in, it's not just restricted to caregivers, it's, it's, it's open to all of you to really submit on chat what you're experiencing. Um, because these are things that we can work with Prudential and with other partners in the future to really understand how to best provide to you all, you know, the best information, the best resources. So don't hesitate to share with us in chat what you're experiencing, because we all go through different things at different times. Um, so, Rashi? Yeah. Terrific. Um, and at this point, I want to ask Laura and Kelly, you know, based off of that, um, what are some tools um, that, that might be able to help caregivers like Liz, like some of our fellows manage their finances right now? Sure, so this is Kelly. I, we have several hands-on tools that we can talk through. We're gonna kind of go into a little deep dive around our digital financial wellness portal, which not only provides uh, articles and videos and interactive guides, but also provides hands-on tools that people can use to impact their finances today. 
So everything from um, the ability to look and research and look at information to things like a budgeting tool or self-assessment. Really, our goal with financial education is to help inspire individuals to become the CFO of your own financial household. So we'll go through that um, in just a second. It looks like looking at the results from the poll, we see that for the majority of our audience, we're seeing either somewhat stressed, very stressed, a little bit across the board, but over 50% is somewhat stressed. So we're gonna talk today about some of the digital portal tools that are available um, around how to dive into the portal itself, how you can take just one step to help alleviate or reduce some of those financial stressors. We know that everyone's situation is unique and independent. Um, and even more so on the caregiver side, that side, as Liz described, it, sometimes it can be even more exacerbated on that side. So we'll spotlight a few kind of tried and true steps that are available on the digital portal, like our resources, our tools, our self-assessment, and our budgeting tool. So I'm going to kind of jump in right now. So you can hopefully see the Hidden Heroes digital portal. So it's prudential.com slash Hidden Heroes. And on this portal, it has over 350 pieces of financial wellness content. So everything from articles, videos, interactive guides, we're going to come back to this financial wellness assessment that you should see right now, because it's my favorite part. And we're going to walk through how that's a great starting point for us. The site itself is completely computer friendly, like you guys can see. It's also completely mobile friendly. So wherever you are, you have access to it. You don't even have, a, have to have a separate app on your phone. You can just go to the site itself and pull up this content. We have a trending section, which has handy and relevant and timely information. Lots of COVID content that's been published within the last few weeks around all kinds of aspects around financial wellness. We even spotlight a monthly webinar that's here. So you can click on this financial wellness webinars. It'll pull up a screen that will show you our next upcoming live webinar. So our next webinar is around student loans and how to pay off your debt. You can register for that webinar. You can even replay the prior webinar. So our prior webinar was last week on Roadmap to Retirement. And you can just hit view and it'll replay that. So if you're not able to attend the live one, you can always watch the replay of the webinar that's housed on this digital portal. Additionally, we built this site for Hidden Heroes community with the intent that people have short attention spans. Nobody wants to read, uh, you know, six hours worth of information around why you should name a beneficiary, but you might have three minutes. So all of our tools, our articles, our videos have been meant and built to be read or viewed or watched in about five minutes. So you can take a peek at those. We even identify that there as you're looking at it. We also have the ability for you to customize this site. So no one has to log into the portal itself. If you wanted to, if you wanted to create a profile, it's just your name, your email and a password. And then you can customize the portal experience to yourself. So you can pick goals, you can set um, things that are of interest to you. And then those topics would be a little bit more prominent the next time you came back into the portal itself. We also know that financial wellness is very unique and individual to each person. And so we built the portal with the intent that it's holistic financial education. So there's a little bit of everything, something probably out there for you. So whether you're interested in looking at information related to retirement, we have um, content, articles, videos, a really great interactive guide that you can walk through about planning for retirement. We spotlight kind of the top four or five pieces or articles or content related to that topic. And then you can always hit explore more and look for other pieces. We have five main categories of information with that holistic approach that number one is retirement. The second big category is being managing debt and knowing that you have different interests that are out there. So if you're looking at how do I tackle debt right now? How do I look at that? Then you can look at um, you know, articles, videos here. Maybe it's looking at how do you pay off your debt and save for retirement, things like that. We also have a big category of information built around saving and investing. Things like looking at things for the long term. Um, is it now a good time to refinance your mortgage during all the coronavirus 
aspect. We're hearing interest rates are changing on that side. So it gives you great insights of information that's relevant and timely right now. My favorite section is built around family finances. And this interactive guide really walks a family through the aspect of raising kiddos from cradle to campus and every age in between, everything from starting out to planning for college. Um, it even has content related to teaching, teaching kids about money during the quarantine. And as I mentioned, I have two daughters, they're eight and 10. And this is an exercise we did at home um, a couple weeks ago, really talking about what is money? How does it impact you kiddos? How can you save? What can you do today? And how this impacts them during the quarantine as well. We even have content built out here around planning for college expenses during uncertain times as well. So lots of different pieces of information that are available to you. Our last big section of information that's available is built around preparing and protecting. So kind of creating that financial plan for you and your family for the future. So everything on building an emergency fund to protecting yourself against key financial risks, spotting some of those coronavirus scams that are going on out there right now even. With the ability to look for not only content related to articles and videos, watching short little snippets of information, we also have built um, several hands-on tools that are on the portal itself. So I'm going to kind of slide back up to the top of the portal. And if you click on tools, you'll have access to a handful of different tools that are available that really can help inspire you to become that CFO of your own financial household. So steps you can take today, walking away from this conversation, everything from, we have a budgeting aggregator tool that's built out here. And the budgeting aggregator allows you to build an online budget by linking different financial accounts together. So you can, my husband and I did this for our family. We put our checking account, our mortgage, our credit card, um, our kids 529 plans on there, and we can now see the money coming in and all the money going out, and we can build our budget off of our actual financial accounts and all of our actual money um, in that situation. We have learned that um, I order a lot from Amazon, and we in the past frequented Target a lot, so it has allowed us to kind of reprioritize our budget based on our actual expenses there. We also know that not everybody's super keen on building a budget online. So one of the follow-up items that we will share with you after the presentation is a PDF budget. So we know some people like to do a budget online and some people want to use pen and paper. And so we'll send and share a PDF kind of budget that you can print out. You can fill it out with pen and paper as well. We have several other tools that are also available that are out here to really help inspire you to look at your finances. So everything from a life insurance calculator, we often hear the question of how much life insurance should I have? Do I have enough? So this is a great quick little two minute tool that allows you to look at ways to um, see if you have enough coverage. So it'll ask you a few questions and then it'll show you suggest how much coverage you should have on that side of things. Also the same thing with the disability calculator. We've got a couple of great tools around a debt manager tool and a tool around spending versus investing. Instead of spending that $10 a month on your Hulu account, what happens if you would have invested that over the last 12 months? Can look at different ways to impact um, kind of your savings on that side. We've got a great student loan assistance tool as well. So if you, your family member, have your kiddos, your spouse have student loan debt, this is a great way for you to look at different ways to impact your student loan debt. So whether you want to look at lowering your student loan payments, whether you want to pay your student loan debt off faster, or even if you want to refinance your student loan debt, you can utilize that tool to look at different situations. You can also go through the student loan assistance tool to talk to an education advisor. We you know student loan debt is super specific to each person, depending on what your credit score is and how much debt you have and what industry you work in. There's sometimes loan forgiveness. And right now with the CARES Act, there's some pause on some of the interest payments with student loans. So that's been a great resource and a tool that's very relevant right now if you're tasked with some of that student loan debt. 
Then lastly, my favorite tool that's out on the um, digital portal is our financial wellness assessment. Oftentimes people say, where do I even start? I don't even know. There's so many different cool things that are out here. Where do I even start? And I always suggest you start with the financial wellness assessment. It's 20 questions. It's emoji based, which sounds a little cheesy, but you'll see in a minute that it really helps you answer the questions. It's really about your behaviors related to your financial wellness journey. Um, it takes less than five minutes. We'll go ahead and walk through it uh, quickly, but it allows you to understand where you stand today so you can plan for the future. So as we walk through this student or this financial wellness assessment, it's gonna ask us questions around our behaviors related to finances. So similar to that poll question, we asked how stressed are you about your financial situation? So we're gonna kind of go middle of the road on these questions just so you can see this. And if you have your phone out with you, feel free to go to the site itself right now and take the self-assessment as we're going through it as well. Because when we get to the end of the self-assessment, it's going to give you three personalized recommendations depending on how you answer these questions. Um, so you're gonna look and see things like, our next question is, what's causing that level of stress? We know that people are kind of somewhat stressed. Let's say it's monthly bills and maybe credit card debt and saving for the future. We then ask the question, what's your total household income before taxes? And that's a sliding scale. So you can kind of pick where your family lies. And when would you like to have your kind of final retirement? We also look at things like at the end of every month, how much of what you earn are you able to save? So we're looking at things like your 401k, your 403b, your pension, your thrift savings program, your IRA, your kids' college savings. And we have that spectrum of answers from I spend more than I earn to I spend my full paycheck, I save a little bit, or I save a good amount. Um, we ask questions around, do you pay your bills on time and in full each month? We'll say we generally pay in full and on time. I'm always chuckle at this image over on the far left because this person doesn't even have a mouth in this situation. I didn't even know they had an emoji that looked like that. <laughs> um, we ask about how much are your monthly household debt payments? So, so these are approximates. You don't have to have a whole bunch of information to be able to take this self-assessment. We know that credit scores are very impactful in someone's ability to kind of move down their financial journey. So we ask, based on what you know of your credit score, how do you think it is? And if you're not quite sure, you can always click skip or don't know. And then we ask, have you checked your credit report in the last 12 months? Credit scores can be impacted so quickly and they can change frequently. So we always like to see, um, you know, are you checking that on a timely basis? When you think about saving money for the future, which of these time frames is the most important to you? Is it looking at maybe the next few weeks? Is it the next few years or five years or more? And then we talk about saving for retirement and if you contribute to a workplace retirement program. So if so, how much is on that? How much are you contributing um, on a percentage basis? And again, if you're not quite sure, you can always hit skip or you don't know. We talk about confidence level for saving retirement as well. And we ask how confident are you that your savings will be sufficient for retirement? This has been a very big topic lately with all the impact of the coronavirus. And then we ask how often do you plan ahead for large expenses? So are you planning ahead for that car or that large purchase that you're making? Are you covered by life insurance other than through work? And this is my favorite image of a question and an answer. If you were suddenly out of work and without an income, how long would you be able to cover your household expenses? So how long is your battery going to last in that situation? Kind of what's that emergency financial plan for you? Do you have less than a month set aside, one to two months savings, three to five or six months or more? And lastly, do you have a written will? We ask a few demographic questions about yourself. So we're gonna ask age, gender, marital status, 
and you guys know I have two kiddos. So how many dependents currently rely on you for financial support? And then the financial wellness self-assessment is going to produce a personalized report for you. So it's gonna give us kind of a visual around our definition of financial wellness. So how are you managing your day-to-day -day finances? Are you on track to achieve those kind of long-term financial goals? And are you prepared for financial emergencies? In addition to that visual representation where you can kind of see that gear shift, it's also going to give you three areas of recommendation based on how you answer the questions. And what's great about each of these recommendations is that it provides a link to either a tool or a resource or an article on the portal itself. So again, we talk about starting with one step. Taking this self-assessment gives you insight on where you stand today so you can know where you want to plan for the future. And this um, self-assessment, these three recommendations may give you a, a, a next step to take. For instance, maybe consider creating a, a monthly budget. If we clicked on this link, it would take us to the budgeting tool. And again, if you prefer to use the paper method, then you'll have a PDF of that after the call as well. So great kind of overview of the tool, lots of great resources. I would definitely encourage you after the call um, to explore out here on this side. Terrific, thank you so much. I think one thing that's been great about Zoom calls is that it's nice to actually see people walking through all of the different screens so that you're familiar with what it will look like. Um, one question I have for you, and, and then I'm sure Liz has one as well. Um, you know, you mentioned your monthly budget. One thing that I've noticed is, you know, obviously I'm not spending as much on gas for my car or transit right now, but I'm spending a lot more on, unfortunately, things like online shopping and ordering <laughs> and things like that. So with all of these tracker tools, are you able to go in and sort of make those modifications month by month if you feel like things are changing? You can. And what's great about the online budgeting tool is it will import your actual expenses. So like in my example where we saw and we could track that we're making a lot of online Amazon purchases, it'll show that and you can adjust your budget based on where you are today. So, you know, obviously, probably most of our budgets have changed from where we were nine weeks ago, whether it's more food or ordering out versus less, like you mentioned, you know, gas and things like that. Um, you can definitely go in and adjust that. Great question. Yeah, I can, I can attest to that with four kids at home, four teenagers. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I'm at the grocery store and cooking and cleaning dishes all the time for them. Um, but it is, you know, good to have them home too at times. Um, so we do have a few questions that we have been getting about your tools. Um, do you have to be a member with Prudential or with the Hidden Heroes Caregiver Community in order to join the portal or utilize your tools? That is a fantastic question. And no, you don't. So there is no requirement that you be a Prudential customer or even within the Hidden Heroes. This is a, a tool that's available for everyone. So again, it's prudential.com slash hidden heroes. We'll throw that in the chat um, as well as afterwards, we'll send you a link to it as well. Great question. Great. Awesome. Um, and just a few more before we move on, if that's okay. I want to make sure we try to get to some of these uh, for those who are viewing and chatting. Um, can you customize the app to your selections? So if you've got certain ones um, that you're interested in within the portal, can you customize the app to fit your own needs so that when you go into it, it pops up right away with what your, your areas are? You can. So under the portal, I'm going to kind of show you while we're here. If you click on the interest tab um, or icon, you can go in and pick things that are relevant to you right now. So let's say maybe you're interested in um, starting a family and paying for college. When you go back into the portal the next time, then those articles and that content would be more prominent on your feed. You do have to create that profile, though, to customize the site for you. Um, so, for instance, you know, even within our team, our military team, you know, we have people that are at the very beginning stages of having families. I'm kind of in the middle with eight and 10 year old. And then we have teammates that are maybe a little bit closer towards the retirement side. And so we each have the ability to pick the information that most would resonate with us and with our families on that side. 
Great. And I think going along with that is how often do you think with like the assessments and the assessment tool, is it possible? Is that something you can update and change often as needed with life? Because life changes on the drop of a dime as we've seen with this. Um, so how does that work with, you know, work with your, your customers and military and veteran families being able to adjust as needed? Great. Yes. You can take the self-assessment as often as you would like. We suggest at least doing it once a year to kind of look at where you are on an annual basis. But you can see on this home screen now, this is kind of back to the home page. And now that I've taken the self-assessment, it's showing up on my home page itself. So I can see how I've answered these questions. I can look at, um, review it again. I can adjust those answers based on how life changes. So maybe I've took some of the advice and started saving more for the future. I can go in and adjust that and my gear shifts in those questions would um, change on that side and fluctuate as I change the answer. Great. And I think one other question before we move on, and I know there's more questions coming in. I'm going to keep track of those so we can get to them. <laughs> uh, but I definitely want to allow time for you guys to keep sharing your, your information. Um, last question is a really big one is the security settings. Um, you know, one of our viewers did ask, you know, how do, how do they ensure that what they're sharing isn't going to a database for sharing, or is it just to better help calculate their needs? It's definitely meant to populate your needs. So anyone who wants to create a profile can do so by clicking on create a profile. And we have all the security settings that you can imagine a Fortune 50 financial institution would have and more. Um, even on the budgeting tool, there's a second layer of security that the banking systems use because you're linking different accounts to it. And if you're not quite sure that you want to share any of that information, 95% of the site is accessible without creating a profile. So you can go in, you can take that self-assessment. You don't even have to create a profile if you're not cool, you know, super comfy on that side. But please rest assured that all of our security information is shared down here at the bottom around our disclosures, around the content that we use and the security protections that we have in place on that side. Great, wonderful. Well, I'll let you guys continue and I'll keep watching with Jasmine on the chat and questions coming in. Perfect. Um, so one of the questions I wanted to ask you both is, um, you know, and we launched our second poll, and as we can see, we have about 60% of folks that are on the call are saying that, you know, they're concerned about debt. And I know that debt management um, and credit counseling, all of these things are issues that have always sort of come up, and there are things that we get questions a lot about. Um, I'm wondering what tools you might have to sort of help people think about how to tackle their debt, um, especially during this time. I know for some of us, you're at home a lot, and seems like a good time to dig into some of these bigger issues. So wondering what advice you have on that front. Yes, thank you, Rashi. This is Bora. So we actually have a partnership through Green Pass. Prudential has the Green Pass program and it, it, is, it is available to the Hidden Heroes community. Green Pass is a nonprofit that offers free financial counseling and education to support people in paying off their debt. They're, not, they're a national organization. They've been empowering people to lead financially healthy lives for 60 years. So we're really excited to partner with them and the uh, wealth of knowledge that they have. So in order to access Green Path, you call the number that's on the screen and we'll also put that in the chat box. There's a referral code that just says that you came from the Wounded War, excuse me, the Elizabeth Dole Foundation. And when you do call them, um, you have a free 30 to 60 minute debt management and credit counseling session to help you um, understand that high level of debt. So if you call that number, you'll be connected to a financial wellness expert. And that expert will really take the time to understand your debt obligations. They're going to explore strategies with you for paying off your debt, discuss the benefits and the drawbacks of each option because it is such a unique process. See if you can, should consider a debt management plan. They'll also review your credit report with you, which I know I often have a lot of questions on my credit report and what my credit score means. Um, and then after all of that, they will help you to develop a personalized action plan to help you get back on track. So it's a really holistic financial wellness debt management tool. Um, so we would definitely recommend checking that out if you'd like. 
That's terrific. I know one one thing that I wanted to ask about is, um, and you mentioned this a little bit, like the financial wellness assessment, I think is a great first step if you're not sure what to do. Um, with the sort of debt consolidation piece, um, where do people, where should people start? Is there something they should do before calling this number? Should they try to get everything organized? Because um, I know sometimes whenever um, you're sort of taking these things on, you kind of don't know where to start. So is there anything you would advise people to do before calling? That's a great question. So we, on our, on our digital portal, we have that debt management tool. We also have some articles about debt management and, and things that you might want to look into. So that would be a good place to start if you are trying to think about organizing your thoughts and organizing your documents. But then after that, I would just make that, that one step and call that Green Path uh, financial wellness representative because they really are the expert. That's their job. They've, you know, they've taken over 200,000 of these 200,000 people have called them and asked those same questions that you're probably asking yourself. So that's, um, that's what I would say. And if you, again, if you want to do the research, we do have those articles on the digital portal and a tool where you can even put your debt, you know, your different debts and into, and, and then you can get a better picture of what you're looking at. Laura, I just have one question with regards to this, because I think this is one that will get asked a lot. Is there, what are the stipulations requirements? As you know, in our community, you know, there's pre post 9-11, there's certain DD-214s that are needed. There's proof of caregiving. There's, there's just a lot of elements that go into, um, you know, something like this. Do you know about that? Or should we just recommend our community to call and reach out and ask what those are? Kelly, I may ask you to answer that one. Yeah, so anyone can call in and access that. And so there's no requirement, again, just very similar to the, the digital portal itself. We want to make sure that there are an abundance of resources that are available. And so, you know, not a requirement to have a whole bunch of information with you just to at least even start that dialogue with them. Great. Um, so one thing I wanted to ask, because I know some of the questions we're getting um, uh, are a little bit about personal sort of situations of people describing um, more case specific stuff. So um, as Jasmine launches our, our final po poll, um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about resources that um, our caregivers might be able to access in the event that, you know, they have a personal situation that they want to talk through, or if they need some personal advice sort of based off of their specific circumstances. Um, is there anything that you guys offer on that front? Why, yes, there is. <laughs> As part of our holistic financial wellness program, we know that people like to learn and approach things in lots of different ways. And so we want to have different mediums for people to reach out to, whether it's going to the digital portal and accessing information at your fingertips, whether it's calling someone about maybe that credit or debt issue through that Green Pass program. And then also through Prudential, we have over 3,000 financial professionals nationwide. So we have the ability to connect you with a live person, a live local subject matter expert for you to have a no cost, non solicitous discussion about financial wellness, about how you can save for the future, about your own personal situation. We know, again, that everyone's each and every person has a very unique situation. And so we want to be able to provide you that opportunity to connect with a local financial prudential, prudential financial professional. And so I've thrown up on the screen um, just kind of a, a cheat sheet for you of the three pieces that we just talked about, whether it's that digital portal, the website for that, whether it's the 1-800 number for Green Path, or if you are interested in speaking to a live prudential financial professional that's local to you, um, you can just send us an email at pathwaysmilitary at prudential.com, and we will then be able to connect you to a financial professional that's in your area. And again, please know that this is purely a discussion. You have that opportunity to talk about any questions you may have about financial wellness, even in follow-up to this discussion. They can refer you to Green Path. So if you're asking questions that may better be suited for building a budget and getting out of debt and consolidating all those debt payments, they may suggest you call Green Path. They can help you plan for the future. They can even help you find an individual solution if you're looking for an individual solution. 
But again, as a no cost and non holistic or non solicitous program, there's never a sales pitch, there's never a product recommendation unless you wanted to go down that route. So if you're interested, again, just shoot us an email at pathwaysmilitary at prudential.com. Laura and I manage that email inbox, and so we'll be able to ask you a little bit about where you're located and find um, a professional that would be able to speak with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Terrific, thank you so much. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and now open it up to some Q&A and a reminder to everyone um, just to type in your questions in the Q&A box. If you're on Facebook Live, you can do it um, via the comment feature. Um, now, Jasmine, before we get started, I wanted to make sure we don't forget our the winners of our raffle. So do you wanna make an announcement about um, who won today? Yes, absolutely. So I have the winners right here. Um, we're going to give four uh, Amazon gift cards out and I'll get your information in the chat. We have here Roberto Martinez, Robert Alford, Barb Webb, and Shirley Statton. So I will contact each of you in the chat and make sure we get that over to you. And now we'll begin with the Q&As. Okay, great. I'll go back and forth with a lot of these questions that we're getting in from uh, Liz as well. Let me get some that are came in from the chat box here. Um, so here's one of the first ones. My veteran, my veteran is disabled, TBI, lives full time uh, with his eight-year-old daughter, with a father and I. Um, he is in, he is, she's asking about the uses of a VA loan for housing. Is that anything Prudential has information about in that situation? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. And it would be something. Those, those kind of very specific personal questions are a great opportunity to connect with that local Prudential financial professional. They can walk you through your own situation and see and maybe make some recommendations or some suggestions on what route you may be able to go on that situation. Perfect. Okay, great. Um, some of the other questions that came in here from the chat, um, will you address extreme costs of life insurance if one lives past 65 to 70, 70. Monthly premiums can reach thousands of dollars per month. Young people need to know this. In my experience, planners have not been so honest about this. Can you please share more information? Sure. So I have found actually quite to the contrary that professional financial professionals who deal with life insurance on a daily basis are very transparent around the aspect of the older that you get, unfortunately, the more expensive life insurance gets. And so they tell you up front to try to take as much as you can, as young as you can on that side. But they are very transparent on the Prudential side to explain how life insurance works. We at Prudential also recommend and um, handle the OSIGLI and BSIGLI coverage for um, you know, through the military as well. And so we have lots of expertise that can walk people through that with those individual financial professionals. So I do think that they will give you, um, you know, information that's very timely and very honest around the cost of life insurance. But you're right, life insurance does get a lot more expensive the older that you are. And I've got another one too, um, and I don't know, Kelly, Mark, you can recommend, um, what is the best way for our community to check their credit scores? Um, is this available within your tools? Is it a part of their profile that they can add into it and help monitor? So we do not have a credit score checking mechanism on the portal itself, but there are three credit um, checking vendors that are out there that you can go once a year to check your credit score and that financial professional can walk you through that. Also, Green Path can help you do that. So if you're looking to say, how do I even check my credit report? That's a great call to Green Path. They can walk you through because there are some tricky websites out there that people have changed, you know, one word where there's some that are free and some that charge. And so I always suggest that people go to Green Pass, let them help you run that credit report for you or give you guidance on where to start so that you're making sure you're getting the opportunity to use the free versions on that side. Wonderful. And I've got two other questions and I, 
And again, I know that um, as far as financial direction, we recommend going to Prudential for that, you know, for that more direct uh, personal care. Um, but one, one question with regards to the tools again is if there is a Prudential member um, who does take advantage of your portal, is there a way that their information already with you can be kind of added into that portal for monitoring, such as life insurance or any other kind of areas that they are a member with you? Actually, no, because they are two separate systems. Because we want to make sure that the, the Hidden Heroes portal is purely non-solicitous and purely educational based on that side, um, the Prudential products and programs would be under your Prudential login, um, and this would be just a resource for you for financial education pieces. But if you were working with a Prudential financial professional, you could tell them that you've seen some of this and you can discuss some of the tools that are available. You can share this with them as well on that side. And what other question we find is, which tools should we use for our family budget? Ooh, great question. Lots of choices that are out there. So whether you want to use that online budgeting tool that we talked a little bit about, that's that budgeting aggregator that I shared with you that my family was very rudely awakened on the amount of Amazon and Target trips that we've made. That's a great budgeting tool that our family has chosen. However, there are so many different budgeting pieces and tools that are out there. So whether it's using that, whether the PDF budgeting tool works for you. In the past, my family used the old envelope method where we put cash in each envelope and we only spent the money in that envelope for that allocation. So, you know, if we set aside $100 a month to eat out, once that $100 was gone, that was our budget, you know. So there's lots of different pieces that are available to you. Um, you know, you, you have the opportunity to pick really what works best for you. I always say it's okay to start small. The big piece is just to start. So start with one step on that side. Um, Great, wonderful. And I know I've got just like a few more. Jasmine, if you have some, please feel free to chime in because I know we're monitoring many pages here. Many pages. I'll go ahead, Liz, as you pull <laughs> together here. Um, the next question here is what sets Prudential apart? There's others that are providing similar services and people are wondering why they should, you know, use these tools for Prudential. Right. So we get that question a lot. Like, what makes this unique to you? And we really feel that any education is good education. If you feel like you have a, a better system that works best for you, a different budgeting tool, awesome, go for it. We just want this to be a resource that's available at your fingertips. We have lots of great resources. We've tried to make the tool as easy to access Try to remove all those barriers, not a lot of logins. If you want to log in, you again have that opportunity. Short snippets of information, very timely and relevant. Um, but we know there are lots of other pieces that are out there. Maybe you're getting education through, you know, um, a different vendor that you're using. As long as you're getting education and you feel like you have that opportunity to continue to plan and access information about your financial journey, that's awesome, but we love, obviously we love our tool as well. <laughs> Great, just another question too on the tools, and I think you answered this a little bit, but just a little more clarity between uh, the app and the website. Are the tools available on both so that they have ability to access here? They're just wondering to make sure that they can access it online. Which method do you prefer? Yep, absolutely. Great question. So it's literally the same information on both sites, whether you're using the um, information online on a computer or whether you're using it on your phone. It's mobile friendly, so there's not a separate app. You don't even have to download a separate app. You'll just insert or type in the um, URL, so that prudential.com slash hidden heroes and it'll pull it up in the same way. It looks a little bit different because it's been kind of modified to you know, fit on your screen versus on your wide computer screen, but um, same content, same information's there um, either way. So it's accessible you know, at your fingertips, whether you're using your computer or at your fingertips from your phone out of your pocket. <laughs> Perfect, another question here, and then I'll let Liz um, ask someone of hers. We're getting a lot coming in here, so we're trying to get through them quickly. Um, where should I keep my emergency funding? At home, in cash, or in a CD? In a CD? 
Good question. That's up to you. And I always say that those are good discussions for you to have with a financial professional. So whether it's using a prudential financial professional or someone that you trust on those, that side, each situation's unique in that circumstance. So, you know, I, I don't say like, don't put it under the mattress by any means, but each person in each family situation is unique. And those are good discussions to have with a financial professional, someone who is the subject matter expert and can understand your family situation and what your goals are and your long-term plans. And they can help, you know, guide you through that process of that financial planning and where you should put that emergency fund. Great, and one more question, then I'll go back to Liz here. Can somebody um, at Prudential help with like a tax strategy, um, recommend if um, I should have an HSA account for health insurance, things like that? Absolutely. So our financial professionals span the spectrum of all things money related. So whether it's aspects around, you know, how do I save for the future, whether it's life insurance, whether it is a health savings account and understanding the components of having the right medical plan and the right financial vehicle to set aside money on a pre-tax basis for those healthcare expenses, they can help guide you through, you know, again, what's the right piece and what's the right program for your family on that situation? These are great questions. That's great. <laughs> do actually one more here and, um, and then we'll go back to Liz. Sorry, there's a lot coming <laughs> here. I'm learning too. I'm like, wow, I don't know enough about what I should do for myself here. Uh, <laughs> So this is another question here. Which tools should we use for investing in stocks? Um, does it work with TD Ameritrade? Do you know anything? TD about Ameritrade? Yes. Yep. So TD Ameritrade would be a, a vendor program that's out there. And so, again, I know I keep saying this, but because Laura and I are not financial advisors and not financial professionals, they would be the financial professionals at Prudential or wherever you, you know, ha if you have someone you work with today, that's fantastic. They would be better able to guide you through that process of if you were looking to determine what's the best system to use for trading stocks and things like that, they can help you through figuring out what's the best program for you. Are you looking at longer term? What's your risk tolerance? Um, things like that. But the, let me tap into that, but the budgeting aggregator tool does allow you to link up to 15,000 different financial institutions. So if you do have different accounts elsewhere, it allows you to kind of consolidate all of those into one view. So you can kind of see your financial statements kind of all at a glance. You can see all of our money consolidated together in one spot on that side. Wonderful. Thank you for, for sharing that. Um, sounds, you know, really helpful and beneficial to our community. Um, and so are there any resources or outside materials that you can recommend um, to help with financial self-help um, other than, and, you know, maybe this might just be a personal question, if you guys have anything that you um, have read and have really found beneficial with your um you know, with your financial situations and helping guide your direction? So I am a financial nerd when it comes to learning um, and I always want to explore. So I personally follow several different websites, follow several podcasts that are related to finances. I think the big key there is to find someone that you can identify with. So I found someone that is kind of in the same genre or demographics and family stance that I am, who has a family that's raising family that has goals towards paying for my kiddos college. And because it's so specific and individual to each of you, I hate, I hesitate to give out, you know, specific names or specific resources on that side, but do a little digging. And the great part about the financial digital portal is that the articles and the content that we provide are from authors or authored all over the US. So lots of different viewpoints and lots of different perspectives because each of us are on our own path on that side. So really just find something that kind of resonates with you that you feel comfortable with. You know, there's so many different social media um, 
profiles and pieces that are out there and whether it's, you know, a book that you're, you know, following or whether you like to take an online course, whether you like to listen to someone speak, a podcast, just kind of explore all those different um, mediums of education that are available. Yeah, these days, I mean, there is so much at your fingertips, especially given everything we're going through. People are finding themselves sharing more information online. Um, so, but definitely do your research and know who you're talking to. Um, but, you know, again, don't hesitate to reach out to Prudential for that information and for guidance. Um, so just to remind everyone, we have two questions. Again, just asking, uh, what was the tool called so that you can see all your finances in one place? And was that the same as the account consolidation tool? That is, that's the budgeting aggregator tool. And I'm gonna pull it back up on my side to see if I can quickly, I may not be able to share it again, but it's called Keep Track. Okay, hang on one sec. It's called um, Keep Track of Your Money. So I'm gonna show it to you hopefully on my screen again. And it is under the tools tab and it's this kind of, I'm circling it with my mouse right now. Hopefully you're seeing it where it says keep track of your money. It has a circle and it gives you that ability to build a budget by linking all those different accounts together. Again, you'll create um, kind of the intermediary level of profiles and then it'll prompt you to create a secondary level of security because you will be creating and linking different accounts to that. Great. Thank you for sharing that once again. I know that yeah. this has been really generating a lot of conversation in the group and a lot of interest. So, um, you know, we really hope everyone will just take a few minutes to go over to their portal and definitely view, see what the tools are, the resources, some of the videos that they have to share with you. Um, and don't, you know, hesitate to reach out to them or to EDF for more information as well. Um, Jasmine, do you have a few more questions or? I think I'm going to reference, um, it, it, can we go ahead and send out the Pathways Military where they can ask some of these other questions to Prudential since we're coming up to 5 p.m. here. I'm going to put that inside the chat box here, those references again, so that we can start to close this out. These are all great questions. So I'll put in there where you can email, it's pathwaysmilitary at prudential.com, um, where you can email a lot more of these questions. I apologize, we weren't able to get to everything today but Prudential is here to help you through a lot of these intricate questions, um, especially the financial ones with those financial experts at Prudential that will be able to help. So I'm gonna put that in the chat right now as well. We appreciate all of you and I'll let Rashi take it away here. Terrific. Um, and we just wanna do a really huge thank you to Laura and Kelly for joining us today. It was really great to walk through some of the tools and, and get to some of these questions. And I know, I'm sure your Pathways Military at Prudential Box is gonna explode with lots of questions, um, which, is, which is why we're here today. And this is the kind of content that the Elizabeth Dole Foundation wants to be working with partners to provide to our caregiver and veteran community. Um, so beyond sort of contacting and all of the, the links are up on the screen now, if you have any questions for people dialing in, um, but we also encourage everyone on today's session to also join our Facebook group, um, our Hidden Heroes Caregiver Community, and to register at hiddenheroes.org. Um, you know, the whole point of this series is really to bring you different kinds of content. We've done everything from food demonstrations to breathing exercises. Today was financial wellness. So um, let us know. Um, you can send us an email at info at elizabethdolefoundation.org. Um, if you have any suggestions for future topics, we really want this to be as driven by you all as possible. Um, and I just note that you should also bookmark next week's episode. Um, we're gonna be talking with Mayor Tubbs from Stockton, California, um, and learning a little bit about how we can all get involved in our local communities um, to better support caregivers, to support veteran and military families. And so we're really excited. It's gonna be next Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, so with that, we're going to close off. We hope you found today's session informative and inspirational. Um, and once again, a huge thanks to our partners at Prudential, as well as our partners at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs and Wounded Warrior Project who made this series possible. Thank you so much, and we look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.